are about ready for Canelo Alvarez and Daniel Jacobs. This unification middleweight title fight. An outstanding battle between two champions. The one thing that Jacobs can't do is stand in front of Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez has never been knocked down in his career. Remember, a lot on the line for both of these fighters tonight. Everybody excited for this showdown between Canelo Alvarez and Daniel Jacobs. Right there is holding on. I'm just, you know, I rarely see Sergio. Good hook to the head and a right hand from Canelo. I rarely see a guy naturally right handed, orthodox, turn southpaw and then have great success. It seems like, you know, a gimmick most often. I, don't, I rarely see a guy going, oh, that's beautiful, going back and forth. Do you see that often? Well, I would do it just to give my opponent a different look, but I wouldn't really fight off that southpaw stance too long. Good work to the body there, going in with the hook, digging in, and now Jacobs finding a rhythm. Canelo blocked that right hand, but it's still effective, I'm telling you. Daniel Jacobs, even though you block those shots, he has that brute strength and that brute power. You still feel it. And yet a lead hook from Canelo. I wonder if that's gonna lead to a little less movement from Danny Jacobs later in the fight. You get that hip whacked on all night. Good clean right hand from Canelo Alvarez. Canelo just barely missed with a big right hook. Excuse me, right uppercut. Good head movement again by Alvarez. The champion in fine form. Calm and moving forward and landing. He has his hands full. Those are the power jabs that he landed against Golovkin. Those hurt. And if you could come around and get your opponent to bite, you can turn that into a left hook. That's exactly what Canelo's trying to do. Jacob's trying to stay active. Slightly discouraged Sergio. And land. And he's winning these rounds. That hook touched Canelo Alvarez on the jaw. See right there, Daniel Jacobs turned southpaw, and he missed that punch. That's the one that he caught me with. He dropped me with that punch. In between those shots, he turned southpaw, and you don't even know it. And the power punch. Five rounds to one in favor of Canelo Alvarez. I should say three of these rounds that I scored, asterisk, very close. Canelo chasing Jacobs now, has him on the run. And that's the thing, when you're, you're not a natural left-hander, it's the defense that you're gonna be uh, falling behind with. And Daniel Jacobs' corner is uh, trainer Andre Rozier said, okay, we need to refocus. We need to stay behind the jab and dig down to that body. Jacobs staying close now. That right hand was blocked. Trying to the body now in a combination. Bit of a flurry from Danny Jacobs. Good answer from Canelo. Now we mix it up. That hook landed by Canelo Alvarez. Snaps his head back again, but Jacobs is going to have to do something, and he might open himself up as well. Like I said earlier, he has to get respect in order to beat this man in front of him, but you do not want to mix it up with Canelo on the inside. Ooh, straight right hand by Canelo. Now to the body. But this is Jacobs' only chance. He's losing rounds. At least we believe he's losing rounds. So he has to stand there. He must do something different. This, and you can see how calm he is. Wow! Big shot by Jacobs. Snaps the head back by Canelo. He doesn't look hurt, but that's certainly landed. Canelo's the type of guy that's not going to show you he's hurt. He's too experienced, but that was a big shot landed by Jacobs. I'm positive that caught his attention. Well, that's the best shot of the night. Jacobs back. Hit him with a hook. Cuffed him with the hook. Now the exchange. Let's see if they let it fly. Final seconds. What's left? <laughs> Daniel Jacobs touches gloves. He brought what he could. But Canelo Alvarez waves to the crowd in what looked like just an outstanding performance in a title defense. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of middleweight action, we go to the scorecards. The winner will be the unified WBA, WBC, and IBF champion. Dave Moretti and Steve Weisfeld both have it 115, 113. Glenn Feldman scores it 
116 to 112. All three scores go to the winner by unanimous decision. Damas y caballeros de Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Now the unified middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo. As you guys were saying, two of the judges had it 7-5, one had it 8-4. That's how it broke down, but it is Canelo Alvarez who picks up another belt. It was a heck of a fight, and I think the crowd here at T-Mobile got its bang for its buck. You now have three pieces of the middleweight title. What did you think about your performance? Difficult, but thanks to God, we did the things we had to do. Everything that represents a challenge for me, that's what I like. A big challenge that will be for me is the next fight. It's mine. It's mine. That's why I'm here, to fight. That's why I was born. That's why I'm here, to defend what I'm here. And here we are, to fight with anyone. Congratulations, love. We won! Viva Mexico!